This is my walk with God. I walk with God, one foot in front of the other, following Jesus' footprints. I walk with God. This is my walk with God. Dad, but I still live. I'm a witness. This is my walk with God. I walk with God, our Father's business. Welcome to the ministry. This is my walk with God. I walk with God, one foot in front of the other. Father, when Jesus footprints, I walk with God. This is my walk with God. Dad, but I still live. I'm a witness. This is my walk with God. I walk with God, our Father's business. Welcome to the Back to business. All right, y'all. I just wanted to talk about being aware. And it's the reason why I got the, the camera pointed like that. But uh, being aware. Aware of your surroundings. Pay attention. Do we pay attention to the signs? To the reasoning behind certain things. Uh, for instance, this building that's behind me, I watched being built from the ground up. But it's a police station, police department. But the question that I have is why do they have such a big gate around it? It's a police station. A police station. Police are there. Who is going to break in a police station? And then the more and more I meditated and was thinking on it, I'm like, okay. They're protecting it. Why? When the police station is supposed to protect us as citizens of the United States, police departments, when they take their oath, supposed to be to serve and protect, as far as I know. I ain't go to law school. I don't know much. But I know that they got a big gate. It's pretty secure lots of cameras everywhere which pretty much every police station has lots of cameras and I get that but this location where it's at there's nothing around it's a nice neighborhood it's back a little bit in the woods as you can see, surrounded by woods, got a couple businesses around, as you will see, the more we walk around it. But it's, are people being aware of what's going on? They're preparing for something. What are they preparing for? Chaos. It's getting crazier and crazier. Open your eyes. You have eyes to see. Open your ears. You have ears to hear. Wake up. Pay attention. Be aware. Keep your head on a swivel. Folks, everybody, whether you are Christian or not, whether you believe in God or not, Just the regular folks, the preppers. As Christians, we need to be preppers too. Prep, it's prepping time. It's the season right now. It's the hour right now. We need to get it together, people. They got theirs together. They prepared for chaos. 
Total chaos. So all this around it. Surround it. I'm walking around it right now. I don't want to record too much. Next thing you know, they'll say, all oh, you is recording the station. But this gate is huge. Nobody's jumping that gate. You can't jump that gate. Even if even if you wanted to. You ain't jumping it. And you're yeah, gonna show ain't gonna even run nothing through it. Ain't running through nothing that wall. It's a concrete barrier. It's a nice big building. The big garage doors that you seen when we was walking around the back. I mean, big old garage doors, the whole bus loads. I mean, these people are prepared. Total chaos, ready to erupt in the United States. When the grid goes down, when food shortages start happening, when things start to happen and these people start to go crazy, which they already started to go crazy, but y'all know what I mean. The apocalypse, the movies, they already showed us this pre 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 game they already prepared us mentally to see this stuff and think that it's just gonna be all normal this is just gonna be normal to us no this is not normal folks this ain't normal police stations normal yeah but these huge buildings just popping up. This ain't the only one. I'm sure it's not. This just is the one that's right here in my face. And God was putting it in my heart to say something about it. Maybe this will reach somebody and wake them up. God is very real. He sent his son, Jesus to die for us, for our sins. They killed the innocent man. And he coming back, and Satan don't like that. So he want everybody to be under his control. We got AI, all this technology, cameras everywhere watching us, all seeing now. And police don't even they serve, but they don't serve who they're supposed to serve, the people. They serve whoever they God is. But I'm sure it's some Christian police. Look how thick that, that gate is. Look, they ain't getting through there. What they what did all they protect? They make sure nobody get in there. And then if you, you do get in there, you're gonna be gone, you're gonna be dead. That's for sure. As police don't, like I said, was getting back to it. They serve, but they don't protect. Some of them do. I can't can't say that none of them do. And like I said, it's probably some that that's uh Christian as well. But the point is, is that How many police are actually Christian that actually care about folks? Or do they care about a paycheck? Do they care about, you know, keeping the jails full because they got stock and bonds and stuff in the jail and their buddy, which is the judge, our lawyer, their buddies, they all work together, playing golf, eating lunch together. Friends, kids grow up together, same schools. Most of these folks don't went to the same school. And what, 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 what's most colleges you get into? 
to these little groups. These little groups, man. These little societies, secret societies, well known. They already, they throwing it in your face. For years, they've been throwing it in your face. I know I ain't the only one that's, that's seeing this. Or that's woke. I'm not the only one that's woke neither. There's some, some folks that's out there that's woke. I'm just trying to do my part. Prepare. Be aware. Keep your head on the swivel. Keep watch. I love y'all, man. Please. Please wake up. Love all y'all. I'm going to pray for everybody. Until next time. Peace.